All right, well, um, with that, uh, I'll call this uh, meeting of the Utility Service Board to order. Um, first item, uh, we need to amend the agenda to remove item eight, which was the bid opening. Uh, since CBU offices were closed today due to the snowstorm, um, and th there was nobody there to receive bids. So we're going to postpone that to a later meeting. So uh, given that, is there a motion to approve this amendment of the agenda? So moved. So moved. Okay. Second. Okay. Um, and uh, Latrina, can you please call the roll? Okay. Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. And just to let you know, Jason's trying to get on. He's having some issues with the link. So I'm trying to help him out. Okay. Thank you. I think I see him trying to jump in. <laughs> uh, Eamon? Yes. Parameter? Yes. And Kapler? Yes. All right, thank you. All right. Um, okay. Uh, next item is approval of the minutes from our previous meeting on February 1st. Um, uh, any questions or additions, comments on the minutes? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All right, and Latrina, please call the roll. Eamon? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Thank you. Okay, minutes are approved. Uh, next up, we have approval of the claims. First item is standard invoices in the amount of $315,285.46. Uh, any questions or comments on invoices? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Amen. I have two questions. First one, page one, Azteca Systems Holding, um, is the $40,000 for the City Works um, annual license is that half of the total and we split it with the city per our usual arrangement uh no that should be for just cbu uh city works is the name of the software yeah i, I recognize that um typically this, we split the total cost with the city my the question is, is the forty thousand dollars half of the total license cost uh, the city is not using city works the city doesn't use city works. No. Thank you. Second question. Uh, page seven, the last page. Um, US Ecology Inc. Uh, 671-068. Um, question, what type of hazardous waste do we have at Monroe? Um, uh, James Hall, um, it is at 671. I'm trying to find that one. Oh, um, that one, I think we have different kinds of waste, uh, but that one is some kind of some, um, mercury waste from a lab procedure that they do. Um, did you hear that? Yep. Yep. Okay. Just yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Ms. Burnham. Hi, thanks, Jean. I have a question about on page seven, the uh, steel toe boots that we paid for. Is that something, do we, this is just like a general question. Do we usually pay for that for employees or for certain level of employees? If we require uh, safety shoes, we have to provide them. Thank you. Just, I had a general question about that. Any other questions? Okay, seeing none, is there a motion to approve standard invoices? So moved. Second. And Latrina, please call the roll. Kapler? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Thank you. 
All right, uh, those are approved. Uh, next up, utility bills in the amount of $84,114.60. Uh, any questions on utility bills? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Manic? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, utility bills are improved. Next up, wire transfers in the amount of $480,296.26. Uh, any questions on wire transfers? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Burnham? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Thank you. All right. Next up, customer refunds in the amount of $3,669.72. Any questions or comments on customer refunds? Uh, seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All right, and Latrina, please call the roll. Bannock? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, next item, a special check run in the amount of $572,290. Are there any questions on the special check run? Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Kepler? Yes. All right. Thank you all. Uh, next up is the uh, approval of the consent agenda. And I will turn this over to Vic Kelson. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm happy to bring the consent, consent agenda for this evening. It totals $10,619.50. Uh, the first item is to BBC Pump and Equipment Company for $8,893.50. This is for uh, diagnosis, repair, and reinstallation of influent pump number three at Bleacher Pool. The second is to Univar Solutions. Uh, that's $0 First Amendment to, to adjust contract language uh, to match the bidding documents. And the last is item C, Resource Conservation Services, LLC, for $1,726. That's sledge sand consultation for a land application permit that we're looking into is the would any board member like to consider any of these individually uh, hearing none if there's no opposition the contracts will be approved as uh, recommended by staff no opposition uh, the consent agenda is approved thank you thank you Vic all right uh, next item is a request for approval of resolution 2021-03 the construction of a new gatehouse at lake lemon and adam casey is going to talk with us about this adam hello everybody um, good evening we are looking at replacing the gatehouse at the entrance to riddle point park i believe the original one's been there at least since the early 80s if not 70s we're going to be keeping the location the same on it and keeping with a kind of design similar to the shelter house that's there, limestone around the bottom, um, cement boarding on the side, and kind of an open timber frame awning for a walk-up area. We'll do a complete demolition and construction of that. We'll actually be applying for a permit for a new um, construction permit for a commercial permit with the city building department or the Monroe County Building Department. We are receiving bids until the 19th this Friday um, and hope to approve the builder to go ahead at our board meeting next week. As per our lease agreement with the City of Bloomington Utilities, we have to get permission from the from USB prior to any substantial upgrades or improvements. 
Um, so we wanted to come and talk about that. There's currently, there's gonna be no cost um, to the USB or CBU. Will that all be in-house? We're currently looking at probably mid $30,000 for the replacement of the structure. Footprint print should say about the same. Um, and we'll all be up to ADA standards for the bathroom inside their entries, walkways and all of that. So are there any questions or discussion on that? Any questions? Okay, I'm not seeing any. Um, so with that, uh, is there a motion to approve this resolution 2021-03? So moved. Second. And Latrina, please call the roll. Roberts? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Kapler? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Prime Minister? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks very much, Mr. Casey. Have a good day. All right. Um, next item, request for approval of an agreement with Harold Fish Inc. Uh, for replacement of the sodium hypochlorite pump piping skid at Monroe Water Treatment Plant. Cindy Shaw will tell us about this. Hi, Cindy Shaw, purchasing. Um, we are asking the board to approve a uh, small project at uh, the Monroe plant to replace the piping skid for the sodium hypochlorite pump. Um, that is fairly caustic uh, material. So uh, it, it, the chemical itself is a little bit hard on the construction materials. And uh, I did talk to Don today. He said the existing uh, materials had been there since 2005. So uh, it needed to be replaced. Uh, I think the total, I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have the cost with me. I think it's 20, 28,000, is that correct? Yes. Are there mm -hmm. any questions? Yeah. Any questions? All right. Seeing none, then is there a motion to approve this agreement? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Kapler? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Parmenter? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, next, we have a request for approval to claim the unclaimed credit balances. And Laura Pettit will tell us about this. Hi, good evening, Laura Pettit, Assistant Director of Finance. Uh, you received a packet um, in your USB packet uh, with 43 pages of unclaimed credit balances. Uh, these are all credit balances that are over seven years, so 2013 and prior. Um, so for wastewater, I don't have the total number of credits, but the, the amount is $38,821.75. And for, uh, that was wastewater for water, it's $1,545.54. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. There are any questions for Laura? All right, seeing none, is there a motion to uh, approve? So moved. Second. And Latrina? Commenter? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Bannock? Yes. Eamon? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Thanks very much, Laura. Okay, uh, before we move on, I just wanna let uh, the public know if you are watching our meeting via Facebook live stream, uh, we will be having uh, a time for petitions and communications later in our meeting. And so if you have anything that you would like to offer by way of public comment, please put that in the chat on Facebook live and Holly will read that during the appropriate time. Uh, if you're joining us on Zoom, then you can make public comment at that time as well. Um, so is there any old business from the board? Any old business from staff? None. Okay. Any new business from the board? Uh, any new business from staff? None. 
Okay, uh, we've got a couple of subcommittee reports. Uh, first, uh, rules and regulations subcommittee uh, regarding the proposed amendments to section 24 of the CBU rules, regulations, and standards of service. Uh, Amanda Burnham, are you gonna talk to us about that? Thank you, Jean. Um, we did meet today the uh, Rules and Regs Committee to discuss the uh, amendments. Most of the changes were due to the fact that there have been some changes within the city's um, jargon that they are using to describe certain processes, as well as um, some things that have changed at the state legislative level. And so um, in terms of they've made things a little bit more strict with how waivers are being um, addressed. And so our committee reviewed the ordinance. We actually did come up with a uh, change in one of the ordinances that was put through for number 24.5. I believe that everyone on the committee, or excuse me, everybody on the board should have received that like minutes before the meeting. Um, we just changed a little bit of the language there. Um, but otherwise, this is a great way for um, us to just update our, um, our policies here. I don't know if uh, Mr. Wheeler or Mr. Kelson want to add anything else uh, other than I know the subcommittee did review it and we, recommend, we recommended, um, we recommended uh, agreement on these changes. Chris, are you going to speak to this? Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to see if you were going to say anything. I noticed you were unmuted, so I was going to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, good evening. This is Chris Wheeler, Assistant City Attorney for the City of Bloomington. Um, and I just wanted to maybe clean up a few points that Amanda made. Um, we're amending rules and regulations of the City of Bloomington Utilities Department. We're not changing any ordinance language uh, of the Bloomington Municipal Code. So when you go into the rules and regulations and go to section 24, uh, you find about a thing called the growth policies plan, which it's not called that anymore. It's called the comprehensive plan. So we're changing that language just to bring it up to date. Um, and then what we're changing is uh, how we look at area A predominantly Area A, and if you can recall, Area A of our sanitary sewer service is the actual service area in existence today. Area A can be inside the municipal boundaries of the city, predominantly it is, and Area A can also be servicing areas outside of the boundaries of the municipal uh, city. Uh, so that area straddles lines. <clears throat> I seem to have lost myself. I, am I still here? Yes, yeah, I'm you're, trying you're to here. bring up the map. Wonderful. I'm to bring I wondered what map. that was. <laughs> Thank you. So um, that's there. that's the service area is area A, and everything that's not the service area defined as area A is by default area B. In area A. Uh, it's always been the director's discretion to uh, determine whether there will, be, there will be extension of the sanitary sewer connection that's requested by the public. Uh, we are now giving uh, a little more clarification as to that discretion. Uh, so the director still has the discretion to make these decisions, it ex in, and it exists all through Area A, whether it's in or outside of the city's boundaries. And um, that discretion... Uh, is for the director to grant requests in situations where the uh, owner or owners of the parcel making the request for the extension of sanitary sewer uh, has submitted a valid petition for voluntary annex annexation uh, as that is defined and described through the requirements of Indiana Code 36-4-3-5.1 or Indiana Code 36-4-3-5. Alternatively, because we do have waivers uh, that we operate under, uh, the director can also grant extensions where waivers have properly been um, prepared in compliance with other provisions of Section 24. Uh, as Amanda alluded, waivers have fallen into some, some, some disfavor by the State House, 
and it's become exceedingly more difficult to properly uh, comply with statute to get waivers and to keep waivers. They have uh, termination dates and, um, and we have to follow the uh, ownership of the property and give notice to folks in timely manner now when property is sold. It just, it creates extra burden on the city uh, to maintain these waivers. And so I thought it was appropriate and so did city legal to uh, make clear in our rules that we also have this ability to grant sewer in, in, in situations where we have folks agreed to do voluntary annexation. And so we're bringing that language into section 24. Um, and then if you scroll down and look at um, the rest of the document, um, in area B, which is where we just had subcommittee suggestion and staff uh, agreed with the suggested change. In area B, there's still the, the clear statement that generally speaking, there won't be any sanitary sewer extended to area B. Uh, but if you are interested in requesting an extension of sanitary sewer to your area, uh, you have to do so in writing to the utility service board. So that's that's just clearing up that language and, and making it more understandable for the public. Uh, and then at the bottom at 24.8, you'll see that we've added the language discussing the fact that we have waiver of right to protest annexation and voluntary annexation um, as requirements for uh, allowing the discretion of the utilities director in those situations for area A. Um, outside of the municipal boundary, outside of the municipal boundaries uh, or in area B. So um, I'm sure I muddied that up for everybody. Uh, I will point out that uh, the city attorney for the city of Bloomington, Mike Rucker is here. Um, and for anything that I may have made any uh, incorrect statements or for any cleaning up, Mr. Rucker's here to help me. I'm happy to answer questions. Are there any questions or comments? All right, then. Oh, uh, Scott Robinson. Thank you. I just want to thank uh, CBU staff for incorporating the change from the GPP to the comprehensive plan. So our department had led that effort for many years. So I just uh, want to say thanks for keeping your rules up to date. So thank you. Appreciate that. OK, thank you. All right, uh, seeing no other questions or comments, then uh, I'll entertain a motion to uh, 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 approve the proposed amendments to section 24 um, as outlined and recommended by uh, the rules and regulations subcommittee. So moved. Second. All right, and Latrina, please call the roll. Annick. I'm sorry, Jason, uh, you're Mr. <laughs> you yes. Thank you. Eamon? Yes. Sherman? Yes. Burnham? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Permenter? Yes. Kepler? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, motion is approved. Uh, next up, we have a report from the Finance Subcommittee regarding recommendations of approval of Resolution 2021-02, the Waterworks Finance Bond. Uh, and Jim Sherman will tell us about this. Yeah, the committee met for a short time. Um, we had discussed um, the bond at the previous um, subcommittee meeting a couple of weeks ago. and. Um, we just wanted to touch base again to make sure there were no changes and no issues that arose and there were none. Um, Chris Wheeler had sent out um, to the board members the language of the resolution. Um, and once this board passes that resolution, it will move forward to city council and then forward from there, the um, committee unanimously um, voted to approve the resolution and bring it to the full board. Okay, thank you. Are there any uh, questions or comments uh, or further comments on this? 
Okay, seeing none. Then uh, is there a motion to approve resolution 2021-02, the Waterworks Finance Bond as recommended by the Finance Subcommittee? So moved. Second. And Latrina, please call the roll. Herman. Yes. Kapler. Yes. Carmenter. Yes. Eamon. Yes. Roberts. Yes. Bannock. Yes. Burnham. Yes. Thank you. All right. Motion is approved. Um, uh, next up is staff reports. Uh, Vic Kelson. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I only have a couple of things. First is I do want to thank uh, the board for their flexibility regarding the bid uh, opening that was supposed to happen tonight uh, with the building closed and the roads uh, mostly impassable uh, over the area, we felt it was prudent to uh, ask, our, uh, ask the con contractors who are submitting bids to have them to us on Friday and we'll have the bid opening on Friday. Um, the other uh, thing I want to ex tell you is that in preparation for the rate case, uh, the uh, yesterday, uh, 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 Laura Pettit and Chris Wheeler and I, and, along with our uh, representatives from Crow and uh, UFS, Mark Beauchamp and Dave McGimsey uh, had a whole afternoon of, of meetings with uh, various uh, members of the uh, Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission and their staff to talk about uh, what we're bringing in general to discuss a couple, any issues that they might uh, ask us about. Uh, but uh, just to give them a heads up of what it is that CVU is bringing uh, to the commission, uh, hopefully in about six weeks after it uh, gets approved by council. So uh, I just wanted to, to let you know that we are uh, underway with the process of working with the commission and uh, we're looking forward to uh, having the rate case go to council on March 3rd. That's did all they, I have. Did they have any comments or questions? Uh, they had a few questions about uh, just aspects of, of what we're doing and comparisons to previous uh, pr previous rate cases and so forth. Most of the discussion, and uh, Chris can uh, respond to this as well, um, most of the discussion was wrapped around the uh, cost of service study that was that's included in this rate case and uh, questions about uh, uh, some of the ways that we, uh, some of the decisions that were made in terms of allocation for it. So it was a, it was a very good discussion. Okay, any other questions for Vic? All right, thank you, Vic. So um, uh, next we have uh, petitions and communications. Uh, if there are any members of the public on our Zoom meeting tonight, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself and wave at me and I will call on you. And uh, anyone, uh, let me check with Holly. Are there any uh, comments in the comments section on Facebook Live? No questions or comments via Facebook or the Zoom chat. Okay. Well, then um, I would entertain an emo a motion for adjournment. I just wanted to say one thing really quickly. Yes. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to our um, CBU employees because I've seen on Facebook there's been like water main breaks around town and it's so darn cold and I know that our employees are out at all the hours of the day and night in all weather and so um, we're very appreciative of that and thank you just doesn't say enough so I just want to say that thank you. Yes I would second that. <laughs> thank you. All in favor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, CBU staff. All right. Well, so we are, was there a motion for adjournment? Would someone like to make that motion? So moved. All right. We are adjourned then. Thank you, everyone.